Friday before Christmas. Let's see how today goes. First thing we got is another Dan Foss. Easy job. I hope all of them go like this today. I went the wrong way. Well, as usual, I should have kept my big mouth shut because I just picked up two wall hung boilers and I think one of them's a callback. That was my way of saying, I'm not in a good area right now. I'm gonna go do the uh, callback first. So it says we're leaking. Pressure's a little high. This should be all right. I just put it on. No. I'm an idiot. I thought about changing that the last time I was here, but I'm like, eh, it's a Saturday. I don't want to go through all the effort. I mean, you know what, man? Serves me right for being lazy. I just got the call too that after these two, I got to go a couple blocks up the road and look at a water heater that we put in, in like, I don't know, maybe like six months to a year ago and it's not working. Hopefully just switches off or something small. Got it. I think I'm just gonna mega lock and Teflon it out here because I don't want to bring all my junk with me. I'm just kidding. What took you so long? Stairs are faster. I tried. I like racing elevators. I don't know why. Oh, oh man. Oh. You're heating. Ian 
freaking out. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess maybe the thermostat's screwed up? It is comfortable in here though. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. This has to be a problem with the hot water because there's no way in the middle of December, I think it's like 28 degrees outside, that you'd be running a fan blowing hot air out if there was a problem with the central heat. How long would you say is long enough to try to recreate a problem and if you just can't do it, you gotta say, we'll come back another time? 20 minutes? Well, I gave it 30, so glad we're on the same page. Works for me. Just a basketball hoop in the middle of the sidewalk. No big deal. Doesn't sound good. So right now I'm gonna get my manometer and I wanna measure the gas pressure going into the gas valve and coming out of the gas valve because even with the power switch being off for the boiler, the burner, it would run for a little bit longer but then still shut off. I just wanna confirm, you know, maybe it's a problem with the meat, like the public service meter and not uh, anything with the boiler, which in that case, we're out of here. What's in here? sewer backed up the other day from the rain Ugh. we got to take out this plug and this plug on either side of the gas valve so I'm gonna close that for now power off play the old guessing game what size I think it is pressure first and then see when we run it what the gas pressure actually drops down to and let's see okay max inlet gas pressure 14 inches of water column minimum inlet gas pressure 4.5 inches of water column and then manifold pressure 3.5 I'm gonna turn the boiler off and see if the numbers bounce up a little bit. Okay, so it just cut out again. I'm gonna shut off the water heater now and just see what the standing pressure is coming in from the meter itself. <sighs> I just dropped my phone in the sewer. Just a quick side note, it's not gonna do you any good with the jumper on there for your flow switch. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and it hasn't shut off on its own. So I know if I put the boiler on though, it, it will shut down. There's just not enough gas pressure coming in for both of them to run at the same time. So either way, that meter has to be swapped out with probably a bigger one. I don't think this will trip out on any error codes or anything. It's just gonna keep trying to reset. So, you know, it w they will have hot water, thank God. But I think this is where I'm gonna pack it up on this one for right now. 
um, until we get that meter swapped out and then we can come back and if it keep if it's a recurring problem investigate a little further but there's a lot more I got to do today one more time just for fun We got a flame, and we still have a flame. But I bet as that ramps up, this is gonna ramp down. Yeah, I already see the flame starting to get weaker. Okay, so this, after I call to let my boss know what the problem is, this is a 275,000 BTU gas valve, gas meter. No way we're going to be able to run this and this at the same time, especially at that input rating. On to the next. The property manager just told me that within the past couple weeks, there's been a stabbing, a raid, like a police raid, and... Um, whole bunch of other stuff going on in the street. So let's get out of here. So unfortunately I got another call back, but a different building. I was there yesterday. I jumped out the uh, pressure switch on the boiler. It's one of those wall hungs, you'll see. And it came back in. I don't know why it was running when I left. Off we go. All right, let's go take a look. And the real annoying part is today at, um, GPS they're doing like they have food and stuff doesn't look like I'm gonna get to that I don't even have to knock D1 it's warm hmm. let's see no condensate drain I don't know. It's eating all right to me. Let me run the hot water. See if that changes anything. Yeah, then we're gonna call for hot water. Back to D1. Yeah, if you're curious, th this gauge is broken. That's where I jumped out the. Uh, water pressure switch. So I tried calling the tenant twice, their phone goes straight to voicemail. I tried calling the property manager twice, his phone is off. I guess that leaves me only one thing to do. Gotta make sure I wear it loud and proud because I'm not picking anything up. I'm just here for the food. Bruh. I miss the food. I know it's not the best, but I mean the hand sanitizer cleaned my phone a little bit. Uh, this is where we're gonna end it for today because I don't have anything else going on. So this video is coming out on Monday, which is Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, this just got awkward.